sponsored by EA. With October 31st not too far off, I want to remind you that I have an EA creator code. If you're planning to pre-order Dragon Age The Veilguard or pick up any previous Dragon Age games through the EA app, remember to apply my code UrbanBohemian at checkout. I get a small commission from the purchase, which helps support the channel. Alright. I know you can use controller, so I'm going to see if I can use... if I can do any to continue. A controller was connected. Excellent. Okay, let me check the settings. Vibration on, subtitles on. Chromatic aberration. Oh, I see. So it, hmm. If it bothers me, I'll turn it off, but I appreciate that they let, because it is just their design. It's just a filter. I like that they let you turn it off. And you can see, like, the plants kind of do the thing. But we'll turn it on. We'll see how it feels. Uh, language English UK. Can I do English US? That's where I am, right? English International. Just whatever English. Uh, graphics is looking good. Uh, quality Ultra. Okay. I turned the volume down a little bit. So let me know. Oh, surround. Well, pardon me. And controls, jump, interact, slide or crouch, and then left thumb, left stick to just climb up or down. Ah, uh, beat a crouch. Okay, got it. Oh, and it's really simple using WASD. Um, let's see here. W S is up and down. A D left and right. Shift is to crouch. What's the f what's the fifth button? What's the E for? Why is it highlighted? It's a mystery. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um, the game does need to be in the foreground for the audio, so you'll have the audio cut out while I read to you what the game is about. <laughs> so, sorry about that. The year is 1962, and NASA are trying to put a man on the moon. In the remote corner of Siberia, a Soviet cosmonaut is headed in the other direction. Comrade Ivan Ivanovich is dropped into an extinct volcano in his exploration capsule, Little Orpheus, to explore the center of the Earth. He promptly vanishes. Three years later, he emerges, claiming to have saved the world. He has also lost the atomic bomb powering the Little Orpheus. He's taken to a top-secret bunker deep below the Ural Mountains to be debriefed by the fearsome General York Yorkovoy, Yor yes, Yorkovoy, a man so frightening even Stalin won't buy him a drink. The general rolls up his sleeves, fixes Ivan with a steely glare, and says, So, where have you been, comrade? And where is my bomb? And Ivan looks him right back in the eye and says, Well, general, you might not believe what happened to me, but I'll do my best because it happened like this. And thus our story begins. So, ooh, there's rewards. Complete each episode to unlock the lost recording mode and gain access to rewards and outfits. Ooh, we like secrets and unlockables. Um, all right, so let me just double check over here. I think you can see everything. If anything is really in my part of the screen, I will hide myself when I need to. And uh, and yeah, okay. Our comrade Ivan Ivanovich Privalov. In 1961, you were selected for the Shukovgrad Interalnaut Exploration Programme SSSR. Despite failing your basic physical and being caught cheating on your entrance exams, on the morning of the 12th of April 1962, you boarded a rocket drill containing the experimental device Little Orpheus with the purpose of descending through the Earth's crust to discover the relative hollowness of the interior and its suitability for colonization. Really? No, you've lost me, General. Did I do what? You and little Orpheus were dropped into an extinct volcano to drill 
to the center of the earth and find out if we could establish a city there. Note, if you will, that this date is over three years ago. That was your plan to see if we could colonize inside the earth? Okay, I guess. All right, uh, left or right? I know we can crouch. Oh, we're actually, we are, looks like we're limping a little bit, so we're favoring a leg. Um, oh, camera's doing the good camera stuff. I guess that's the remains of our, of our ship. <laughs> hey, yum nothing, welcome on in. Hi. Ivan Ivanovich, can you describe Little Orpheus to me? Of, of course. <laughs> it was uh, large and round. It's a drill. And had something of a disagreeable smell. I was referring to its technical specification. Well, General, I am no man of science, but it had this uh, radio thing that I was supposed to use to let the surface know I had arrived, and uh, some sort of battery wrapped in this lead box. But I was told to not touch anything under any circumstances, and I did notice the engineers who worked on it were quite a shifty bunch. Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume up, uh, but we're we're already in the intrigue. Um, he He didn't do well, like he cheated on the entrance exam to become not a cosmonaut. I guess you would call it a terranaut. And they just dropped him in the planet to go see if they could colonize down there. And the battery for the thing was inside a lead box, which means that Superman couldn't see through it, obviously. Um, and yeah, that's... Oh, crap! Well, that wasn't stable. Okay, so we can jump. Can you... Can we maybe stop constantly drilling the Earth? I mean, can we buy Earth dinner first? Okay, so we can jump now. Oh, okay. Earth dinner. <laughs> oh, this does not look good. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Ugh. The little Orpheus device contained a radio transmitter capable of sending a signal through miles of solid rock. In order to boost this, a powerful energy source was required. An atomic bomb, comrade Prevalv. An atomic bomb that you have lost somewhere below the Earth's crust. Ah, it's fine. Yes. It's fine. Bomb. <laughs> of course, General. It's totally I fine. I explain everything. But it is a long and somewhat complicated story. And let me assure you, this is not a case of milking chickens. Excuse? But you won't understand where your bomb and little Orpheus has ended up unless I start at the very beginning and you let me tell you where I've been for the last three years. Milking chickens. Hmm. Oh, okay, so this is like pitfall. Oh, hold on. Can we... Okay, so what's interesting is that we cannot um, hate Night Judicator. Yeah, a bomb, a bomb would not be a good. I mean, I guess 
if they'd set a nuclear power source, that might have that might have done it. Um, okay, so we can't swing the vines. Uh, we can climb up and down on them, and we can lean and then jump. Okay. Our ship just looks angry at us. And I cannot blame it. I want to see how far up I can go. Okay. Ooh, the platform, like, when you land on it, because it does a little bit of a wiggle. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Do we want to go up or down? Oh, probably up. Okay. Oh, now I'm getting, like, Donkey Kong 2. Or Donkey Kong Jr., I think, is really what I feel like more. Okay. Oh. So what's interesting is I haven't found a way to fight, as far From as I can tell. The beginning, then. But this had better be good. Good, General. It's more than good. It's extraordinary. Oh. And it began like this. Oh. I love these opening credits. That's great. Other games pay attention. That was awesome. An extraordinary sight. I realized this must be the fabled land of Plutonia, as documented by the brilliant scholar Obrachev. A trail of destruction carved by the rocket drill led down into the wild and mysterious jungle. The rocket drill itself must have snapped in half somewhere below Kamchatka. And little Orpheus bounced out and became lost in that prehistoric forest. If I was ever to get home, my mission was clear. To find little Orpheus. Oh, down here. Okay. Um, so yeah, none of my commands that I have, hey Celestion, none of my commands have included any way to fight or attack, only evade. So I'm really curious what kind of platforming we're going to have. Oh, and oh, 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 girl, oh, oh, oh. Well, all right. Hey, Noel, happy Thursday, uh, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. I promise. Um, yeah, platforming with the ground. Just. That is carnivorous, and I am going to walk away from it. Where is Sundu <laughs> when we need him? It's gorgeous, though. Hey, Dre, welcome on in. It truly is pretty. I myself. And plunged oh. deeper into that prehistoric jungle where insects the size of dogs buzzed around. Those dogs. are a lot bigger than dogs. What sort of dogs? I beg your pardon, General? Large dogs or small dogs? Big like an Avchaka or small like a Barlonka? Does it really matter? Of course. Detail is all important. Avchaka then, General. The size of an Avchaka. I find that very hard to believe. Would you find it easier if they were the size of a balanca? No. But I am enjoying your attempts to persuade me. So the general who is interrogating our character thinks that we've just been lying and slacking off about being missing for three years. 
and also missing with the bomb. Thank you for a very convenient vine. I will try to get up it in more than six seconds. Less than six seconds. Hey, Rachel. Welcome on in. Let's go. Oh, that good old Star Wars screen wipe, too. Okay, so the dragonflies don't seem to mind me being here. I also like that you started the way that apparently you're supposed to go, which, like, is just a very subtle help. Um, okay, I can't get up there. Is that buzzing? There is not a little Eurydice, too, but, you know, farewell to all the earthly remains, etc. Good riddance and all that. I can't remember the name. I can't remember the song lyrics. I apologize. Hey, alien traveler. Okay. Uh, do we climb up this? Oh, we... Oh, okay. Okay, so we can get a swing. We just can't cause one. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that part of our spaceship? Sorry, uh, Earth ship? Another part of the rocket trip, but still no sign of little Orpheus. So I keep saying spaceship, but it was a rocket drill. They they put they put a cosmonaut into a rocket drill and sent him into the Earth. Oh, this is going to break on me, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Okay, so I have some notes. Ivan, be faster next time. Um, but failing a failing a sequence does nothing but send you back to the start of it. But still no sign of little Orpheus. Okay, so I don't have time to like be a tourist now. I just gotta figure my crap out and leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game was like, yes, I know I'm pretty. Now stop looking at me and run. Oh, the music is very good. Okay, so we know that this is going to be a grab vine that goes in swings. Oh, I love this. Oh, um, hey, friendo. I hope that you are vegetarian. and more ancient than any known to our modern times. Could it be that Obrachev was right? And deep below the Earth's surface, prehistoric monsters still roam freely. Yes, yes, but little Orpheus. 
I'm just going to tell you, Interrogator, I have been gone for three years. You are going to have to wait until you get some answers, okay? I have an entire preamble to lead you through. Yes, so we were on a mission. Um, we were on a mission to drill into the earth to see if to see what was under the surface and if it was habitable for colonization. And then our Terranaut went missing for three years. Oh my god, you're so cute. Can we be friends? Oh, there's more of you. Um There's going to be a lot of this is how I die moments because I'm just going to be looking at the pretty. And I, I guess I'm daring this Brachiosaur to eat me. Can I pet you? Uh, I just want to... Just, 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 just a little pet. Old nose boot. Come here. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, so I was wondering also, when you're swinging on the vine, you can't... Uh-oh. Okay. Hi! Hello! So you can't climb up and down when you swing on the vine, um, but we can wait for this one to come close. There's really nothing to say but woohoo when you get a giant swinging vine. Like, hey, Astromantha, this is real. Woohoo! Let's go. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That terrible lizard intent on making a snack of me was none other than the most awful of the monsters, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, now you are an expert on dinosaurs. Oh, hardly an expert, General. Just educated by the best schools in the world, like all good socialists. Oh? And I remembered one crucial thing. I'm listening. Well, uh, its greed is without bottom. <laughs> its hunger is ferocious. But its brain is absolutely tiny. So, it can roar and roar as much as it likes, but it will never be a match for the sharpened mind of the good Soviet worker. All I needed was a plan to outwit the monster. So we have to outwit a Tyrannosaurus Rex. No problem. So I think this is probably gonna be, are we thinking maybe stealth and avoidance? Or do we think we're going to set up a trap or a trick? Ooh, a true. Where is Tyran? Oh, what is this? Press and hold X to interact. Oh, got a little crate. Uh-oh. Is that the drill? That is the, uh, that's the drill rocket engine. Still, still going. Imagine my shock and surprise to find in that clearing the last part of the rocket drill. More shocking was the fact it had been ransacked. Uh-oh. Someone had made off with the tools, the weapons, the rations, and the spare parts for the Pragviev. I began to suspect foul play. Perhaps Little Orpheus was not lost at all, but stolen. All I could do was follow the trail further into Plutonia. Uh-oh. Okay, so now we're walking a little bit careful because it's hot. 
and some like it hot. There's way too many references for some like it hot, so I'm not going to sing any of them, but you know. Okay. Um. That's some bones. Those, oh, those, that's, that's some spiny bones. That's some ridge cage bones. Ooh, ribs. I should make ribs. Oh, that's not a good friend. I was thinking Tony Curtis and Bob Hope, actually, um, because of the end of that movie, but yeah. Or no, Jack Lemon. Wait, who, was it Tur Curtis and Lemon in the movie? Anyway, sorry. Um, what the hell? You know what? You can just go. You can, no. What's funny is I can't run. Although I notice, interestingly enough, that um, I don't have a run. Oh crap. Oh crap. Krizakon, the opening lyrics, Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition have not left my brain since I started playing this game. And the greatest earthquake ever known. Okay. <clears throat> crap. Crap, 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 crap. So we all agree. This was the fabled land of Plutonia, do we? I don't remember accepting that. I will admit it might not have been Plutonia if you are prepared to accept the dinosaur. Fair this enough. This isn't a negotiation, Ivan Ivanovich. General, you can disagree all you like, but there's very little you can do to persuade me it wasn't a dinosaur. I might not be able to persuade you, but I can always have you shot. So, Land of the Lost watchers out there who remember the original, what was up with the slee stacks? What was up with the pylons? What was what was that about? And I can't remember. I don't think they ever went home, but I know that there was another season with different actors, because I think um, some of the original actors did not come back. But I just always wanted to get inside one of those little pylons and start messing with the crystals. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Um, just gonna... I'm gonna, you know what? No, I'm gonna stay up here. I'm gonna stay up here. You go, mm -mm. Nope. Uh-uh. Can't see me, there's no one here. Don't be suspicious, run from the lizard. Don't be suspicious, run from the lizard. Oh, nope. Sniff somewhere else, please. Okay, I do like that, that it really is key to when I get to the checkpoint for the sequence. That's an eye. I'm not doing that. Oh. 
I'll just be in the tree. You see nothing. You smell nothing. I don't trust that it's not going to come up now, is it? I, 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 I got, I got a T-Rex pounding the ground behind me. This is not good. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. It's doing another thing that I really love. Untitled Goose Game was really good at this, where the music is keyed to you moving around, so it's very, it is very like cartoon back in the day. You look down, and then you look up, and then you look down again, and then you look up. You're really suspicious. I'm just an egg, bro. Just an egg. You seem like a conservative politician. I'm an egg. You should want to protect me. We're about to lose our our shell. We're not coming out as oh okay. I was like we're not going to come out as trans yet, but we are about to crack that egg. You hid in an egg. Yes, Jen. hell yeah. I hid in an egg. I am glad to hear your military training was not wasted. If only I had a single legion of men as brave and ingenious as you. With only a hundred men equipped with eggs to hide in, we could roll across you. There is no reason to be sarcastic. General, are you mocking me? You are as sharp as you are brave, Talarish. Oh, that's rude. Also, Tavarish makes me think of Colossus, who went through a whole lot. Oh, no. Are we still. Are, is our, is our, are we still under. Okay, well, I guess we'll just run. Oh, that's a... Um... That is distinct signs of civilization. Which definitely makes us the colonizers. Oh, okay, so let's slide. Okay, to get up there, we're going to have to do some jumping. And we can't do parkour, so... Jump? And then 
climb and jump again. True, but we were sent with the express purpose of evaluating the beneath the surface of the earth for colonization. So, yeah. Ooh, okay, I like this platforming. It's very pretty. Can I get up there? No, okay. Yeah, no, the soundtrack is amazing. Ooh, can I move you? They sent me down here with a nuclear bomb as a power source for my for not even for the actual ship itself. The p nuclear bomb is the power source for the radio so that I can contact the surface. I don't think that they're looking for beneficial relationships out of this. Hmm. Um. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yes. Haha. -ha. I blundered my way just like Don Knotts in a Disney film. Wait, was the one where he turned into a fish? That was a Disney film, right? Mr. Limpet? I feel like that was a Disney film. Might not have been. I couldn't believe it. I still struggle to believe it. A whole lost city. Buried in that jungle deep below the crust of the earth. Who would have thought it was possible? Who indeed? It is of course a shame you didn't think to record the moment for posterity and help us all to get over our disbelief. Wait, did I have but a camera? I did, General. I did. My training was excellent, and I immediately took out my Kamsamolyats and began to document all I could. My what? Is that a camera or is it like a journal? Okay, so we can get up there. But I don't think if I move... Okay, I don't think if I move this over I can get up there. Okay, but what if I... Okay. Okay, so I think I need to pull you a little further this way. Wait, if I can do that from over there, why am I... Then no, why am I not just doing this? Yeah, what was the point of you then? Were you a trick? Is there something over here I need? I'm gonna assume that like most games, you just need to keep going forward. So I will stick to that. Do I need you both down here is the question. So, where is this camera now then? It's a camera. Ah, General, yes. <laughs> what of course I, I meant to say was my training was excellent and I immediately <gasps> reached for my camera, only to realize it must have been torn from my utility belt in the crash and lost forever in that forgotten jungle. Okay, so the vine is attached to the crate. I don't believe there's like fall damage, but I'll check. Oh, 
<laughs> the game was like, nah, you're sticky. You're fine, buddy. Um, okay, so I was able to pull the vine along with the crate. And now I should be able to jump up to it to get through the obstacle or get through the area. I'm going to put you as far over here as I can. Okay. And we're through. And we're under. And we're over. Yeah, this is definite signs of civilization, but it also looks... Oh no. Horrendous beast had returned. Perhaps it was angry. It had been fooled by an egg-wearing idiot. That Language. Is unkind, General. It may have been small of brain, but it was grand of stature. Whereas you, Ivan Ivanovich, are lacking in both departments. You know, why don't Presuming you just... there were no more eggs to hide in, did you have a new plan? I did, General. You know, if you're going to be sassy like this, why don't you just take me out and have me shot? Okay? Honestly. I survived three years under the earth. I can probably survive that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, pretty. Makes me want to grow mutant mushrooms in my backyard. Robo, hey, welcome on in. I hope that you're doing well. We are playing little... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Please. Do tell me, what was this brilliant plan? Oh crap! Oh, ho, 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 let's go! Hell, let's go! 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 Too big, and I'm too small. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, ho, ho, ho. We are playing Little Orpheus. We are playing a uh, 1960s Soviet. You want to say cosmonaut, but it's actually a Terranaut because they put him on a rocket drill going into the Earth to see if they could colonize beneath the planet. And we were down there for three years. And we're back up and being interrogated. So this is sort of like the scene within the scene. Um, but thank you very much for the resub. I appreciate that. Oh, welcome on in. And I hope that your day is going pretty well. Hey, Faison. Welcome on in. Hey, Vancouver by night. So I usually don't do platformers because I'm not very good at ones that have a lot of action to them or a lot of motions or a lot of anything. But this one, it's very simple. It's much more of a puzzle platformer, I think. And the big sequences are evade. They are not like fight. They are. Oh. Will our intrepid yet doomed hero survive the jaws of the ferocious dinosaur? Who is that? Will he meet his end miles underground as an aperitif for a ravenous raptor? What dark secrets could be buried in the lost city of Agatha? Will the general ever discover the location of his lost bomb? All of these questions and more will be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Orpheus. So it divided the story up into episodes. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, that's fun. Um, we have to watch the credits because 
totally worth it. Also, the QA people, very important. Um, yeah, no, it definitely has, it has that good, um, they said it was inspired by things like Flash Gordon, uh, The Land Before Time. It's definitely, ooh. Interesting. Oh, we have a Russian dialogue coach, that's good. Um, it was inspired by those things, so yeah, that's a lot of fun. Um, Nice. Okay, so do I go to the... Do I go back to the main menu? Okay. So, episode one was comrades to... Oh, sorry. We also have a new mode. Um, because we finish an episode, we get the lost recordings mode. Uh, so we can revisit the adventures and uh, discover the new orbs scattered throughout to unlock exclusive behind-the-scenes content and hilarious outfits. So we could be a doggo. Um... Yeah, we could be we could be like a. Okay, so you can find uh, you can find like the little uh, collectibles. So the first episode was called "Comrades to the Center," and I now see it has a zero of nine. Collect all the orbs. I'm gonna actually. Oh, don't do not delete my save game, please. But I like the option. Okay, the next episode is called "The Enslaving of the Menk." <laughs> 